Hey family, welcome back. It's Ebony dropping by with another quick message. Um, I'm not too sure who this is for, but whoever you are, you're going to know because this word is going to resonate with you. You may be going through something in your life, whoever you are, and you've come to the point of realization that this thing is bigger than you. It's like every day you wake up and you're trying to come up with a better strategy or a better plan, or you're trying to figure out how all you're going to accomplish it what seems to be like 10,000 things in one day. Um, you know, you have a list of things that the Lord has put on your heart to do and you want to do them all at once. So you're trying to strategize on how to do it. And it seems as if you've continued to do this and toil back and forth in your mind so much to where you become overwhelmed in a sense because you sit back and you're like, okay, there's no way I could do all this stuff right now. But Lord, I know you put on this heart, for, on my heart for me to do these things, Lord, but... I don't see how it's going to happen. And you've been asking the Lord, uh, you know, which one should I do first? Which thing should I do first, Lord? Uh, you know, do I do I knock this one out and then come back and circle around and try this one? Do I do, do, do I go in a straight line and do it this way? Do I go this way, then this way? Or what, Lord? The Lord is wanting you to come to him personally and ask the Lord to do it for you. And when I say that, I don't mean you're going to just sit there twiddling your thumbs and the Lord's just going to make it all happen. But what I mean is, when you go to the Lord and you really say, Lord, do it for me. Father, I know I can't do this in my own strength, Father. But yet, I know that your, your strength is made perfect in my weakness, Father. Right now, I am weak. Right now, I need you to be my strength, Lord. I need you to do this thing for me, Father. Direct my steps. Order my steps. Lead me. Guide me each and every day. I surrender this thing to you, Lord, because I know it's bigger than me, but I know nothing is too big for you, Father. And I know that if you put this on my heart for me to do, I know that it's meant for me to do it, but I don't know how I'm going to do it. I can't do this in my own strength, Lord. I need you. The only way this thing is going to happen is if you do it for me, Lord. And before you know it, it'll be almost as if you're going to wake up in the morning one day and start noticing that your routine has begun to change. You're starting to do things differently. You're starting to become more organized. That list of things that you had to do, you're beginning to check things off left and right. Your life will have completely changed in what appears to be overnight, but it wasn't overnight. Because it took you to go through this whole process, the process of figuring out what it is the Lord was trying to tell you and what he was trying to tell you to do. To you actually receiving those things and accepting and believing those, those things are actually coming from the Lord and that these things are for you to do. That to desiring to walk in, in these things and walking in your purpose. That to you trying to figure it out on your own and put the puzzle pieces together. All of that to you actually circling back around and coming back to God where it all started and where it all ends and surrendering it to God and saying, you know what, God, I done figured out and walked around in circles. I done bumped my head enough. I done went this way, went that way. Lord, I'm tired of being wrong. Make me right, Lord. I'm tired of failing. It's time I succeed. But I know the only way that I'm going to do it is if you do it for me, Lord. God, please do it for me. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, do it for me. Because I can't do it on my own. And in all, each of these little steps, you've been being processed. You've been being trained. You've been being developed. The Lord has been building you. You have been growing. You have been stretching. Your capacity has been stretching. So much so to where now you can receive everything that the Lord has for you. Because see, what he's about to bless you with is far greater than anything you've ever had before. What he's about to bestow upon you is far greater than anything you've seen before. But the key of it is, the Lord wants you to come and say, Lord, I need you to do this for me. And when you do that, and you release the hows, the wins, the buts, the what ifs, the details in between, and you truly surrender, and just be like, you know what? I'm tired of waking up and feeling so stressed because I'm like, how am I going to do this, 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 and that? We, we got 24 hours in the day, Lord. How is this going to happen? 
and you tired of doing that and you finally stop, stop resisting, because actually in doing all of that, so much so that it is stressing you out, all you're doing is resisting the natural flow of the Lord that is, that is moving, that is trying to move through you and your life. Surrender that thing to God. I want you to get down in the comments right now and say, Lord, do it for me. I need you to do it for me, Lord. Hashtag do it for me, Lord. And the Lord is going to do that thing for you. And when he does that thing for you, it's going to be so, it's going to be so beautiful. It's going to be so, so magnificent. It's going to be so miraculous because it wasn't you that did it. The Lord did it for you. He did it through you. You did it, but you couldn't have done it if it wasn't for God. Always remember that. You are Once you ask God to do it for you, you are now attached to the vine. Things are going to flow organically. It's going to be natural. Things are going to start falling into place in your life. And you're going to be like, Lord, I don't even know how I did that. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I do. It wasn't me. It was you. And that's when you're going to be able to praise him. Well, you need to be praising him now, actually, in advance. But that's when you're going to be able to testify. The Lord is going to get the glory out of all of this, your entire story, from the struggles to, to, to through the pain, the trials, the tribulations, the revelations, the transformations, the turnarounds, the times you bumped your head, the times you failed, the times the Lord picked you up and carried you, the times all you could do is cry on your knees and say, Lord, I don't know what to do, Father. Take this from me, Lord. I don't know. It's too much. I don't understand. Give me your understanding, Lord. I can't do this on my own. Help me, Lord. Do this thing for me. It's already done. The Lord wants you to know it's already done. All he's been wanting to do is waiting to hear those words come from you. He's already been doing a lot in your life, but that big major thing, that last final push that you know you've been needing to take in your life, to walk into the manifestation of the, the promises the promises that he's told you, that he's given you, the vision that he's shown you, that life that you've dreamed about, you've longed for, and you've desired for your entire life, that is what you're about to walk into. So I pray that this word blesses you and encourages you Give it to the Lord. Ask him to do it for you. He's waiting. He is waiting. Ask and you shall seek. Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock. And that door shall be open to you. The Lord is waiting on you. You ain't been waiting on him. It's easy for us to go around every day and say, oh, I'm just waiting on the Lord. I'm just waiting on the Lord. And in a sense, we may be. But in reality, he's waiting on you. The Lord's waiting on us. That's what he's waiting on. Because it's already done. It is already done. Before you were even thought of by man, before you were even in your mother's womb, the Lord knew in every moment of your life, before your life even started, all the way from now, from then, from before you even came about, Till the end of your life here on earth. God created you with a purpose, on purpose, and for a reason. And if you're unsure of what that is, go to the Lord and ask him, and it shall be revealed to you. So I pray that this word encourages you and blesses you. I love you. God loves you. God bless you. Talk to you soon.